Good morning, welcome to a morning review. This is Kim Watson speaking on Monday the 13th of July. So looking at the euro dollar first and before we talk about the charts themselves, just an update on where we are with the Greek situation. It would appear that uh, the uh, the offer that put, was put uh, by Greece uh, to the uh, creditors has effectively sort of been turned down but they, they've just put a sort of counter uh, a request back the other way so it's sort of it's going backwards and forwards now they put a date of Wednesday so we've got yeah another date um, an ultimate date by which uh, it needs to be voted on and agreed so uh, yet again uh, the ping pong the game of uh, ping pong uh, with Greece's debt continues and it needs to be done by Wednesday to uh, uh, for the financing financial package to be uh, provided so um, it looks like there could uh, still could be some op opportunity to uh, finalize this it hasn't been walked away altogether so there we go we'll see how we run but for now now technically looking at the charts well we're playing a game of bull flag bear flag uh, there's this uh, bigger sort of uh, bull flag that's running up here but then you've got the shorter uh, bear flag that's sort of sitting in the pattern at the moment so it's whether or not it can actually break through these sort of levels where it's sitting here and push to the upside uh, or whether it's going to just be stuck where it is and maybe continue for a slightly bigger correction maybe uh, you've still got potentially a high low to come in if it was come and test the 50 ma important things to look at here is we've got certainly got a complete clean high and low from last week um, it's pulled back it's uh, certainly bouncing at the moment potentially looking at 60 minute chart it's got a few targets it could possibly be coming down towards to hit um, uh, namely the weekly pivots below us there at uh, 110 um, 110.94 if we do see a push to the upside where we've got the double tops there uh, to run for actually I saw yep that's the main thing that I'm looking for on the euro there really pushing up towards Friday's highs maybe as high as the R1 area at 112.30 so see, we'll see how it runs out today very very likely to see over the next couple of days consolidation there's no significant news out as a euro group meeting is carrying on today again um, but there's no uh, um, uh, significant news out certainly for today so we could see a consolidation phase as I say the preference at the moment in this current price action is to come down and click, just clip that weekly pivot but uh, it's all air kissed in the overnight trading so may may just not be caught but for now at least but if it does break down that weight and actually break through that then I'd be looking for that S1 area okay so have a look at the pound And uh, what we've got here is a bit more of a consolidated phase already. It's sitting in just uh, just above its weekly pivot. Got that below us. It's run into the uh, the uh, the 50 daily 50 34 moving average here. Had a slight reaction from that. Uh, it really for me to get bullish, really bullish on this. It needs to be breaking the highs again, and then maybe we could see a run up to that uh, daily 21. So there's a possibility there. It's what else has it got up there on the way it's backward back we back to the 50 so there's a possibility if it can break out through these highs that we start seeing it running in that direction at least at the moment in this sort of shorter term uh, hourly time frame you can see the um, trend line that's sort of sitting across the highs here now that's already effectively been on a, a nibble at so it would have to adjust that of course now but uh, it's that's the sort of the early morning force break possibly now it's got its weekly pivot daily pivot below us so it's possible uh, that we could come down and see both those hit then whether it's going to push on beyond that where it has got the 34 below may just drop down to that and maybe even the 50 so we'll see how we run here but uh, the intermediate trend is erring towards that upside and the amount of sort of hits we've had around about these highs that we've just triggered we've had quite a few it's just not managed to get through each time but if we can break through that sort of supply area well then i'd be looking for any sort of rallies to take us up towards the r1 1.5586 87 rather but there is as i say it's another one of these days where we, we just see a bit of a consolidated flow of movement and 
may fall short of these uh, R1S1 levels. Okay, uh, Dolly Yen. Another one in its sort of uh, phase, it's, try, it's trying to shove up, it's got its weekly pivot below, there's not a lot more I can say from the dailies, I mean if it's, it's still in this, there's a trend line that's probably running across the highs here, oops, put the line on properly, that'd be good, across these lines here which you probably should look at, if you can break above this 21 etc, well maybe it could shove up some more, um, today though, I mean it, ha it does have the the weekly pivot below us is it's sort of a bit counter everything else. It's uh, uh, it's got the daily pivot there below us as well, and the weekly pivot. Maybe we'd come back towards and test that 50 MA, which could give it the first test and it could give it a bounce. Certainly a possibility there. So some areas to look at as we run through today. Okay, and finally let's look at the Aussie dollar. Still worrying on the weak side again. It's that, it's got that sort of uh, big bear flag sort of kicking in uh, from the on, on the daily point of view when you're looking at what's going on here. It's certainly a bear flag sort of pattern, which if we see a break of the lows, well, we, we would expect the, the uh, last week's lows to be uh, hit uh, potentially. Looking at these sort of shorter time frame, you can see just the sort of chop we're in, and it's it, it, it is having a reasonable intraday range. It's just that those ranges are, are, are so overlapping; it's quite difficult to work out. Well, what's the intermediate trend here? Um, and it's to me, it's hit areas, and it's it, it's something I'm, I'm going to just stand aside again uh, from until we see some sort of break made in terms of the highs or lows at the moment. I think uh, for today, at least, it's. Uh, I mean, if it starts breaking down properly, well, may have a run towards yesterday's lows, uh, yesterday's lows, uh, Friday's lows, uh, and maybe even that S1 area back down, and maybe giving us the trigger for the bigger trend change here. So if that gives us that bigger trend change, we need to see those lows, and that could then see us rolling over some more. So it's really the picture I'm looking at at the moment, just watching to see where it goes. But at the moment, I'll just stay out of it until it uh, gives me a bit more of a clue in terms of direction. So it's a patience game today as ever. It's uh, moving towards the holiday season. We have to sit through a lot of periods where we have to sit patiently. But as we saw on Friday, you can uh, guess quite often in the morning, ironically, um, whilst Charlie was long on the Euro, uh, I believe it was, I was short on the uh, on the um, Aussie dollar, funny enough, which uh, paid off back almost towards its pivot there. Uh, but very simple little sort of setup there uh, today. Well, it's a, it's not so clear in terms of where we're going here. So we'll sit and wait. Okay, that's it for me. Have a great day. Bye for now.